All right, guys, it is Lieutenant 99. I'm gonna bring you back with a video. Um, very anticlimactic uh, intro, of course, you know. All right, so let's get down to it. I'm gonna be showing you how to connect your wireless Xbox 360 controller to your PC. Um, this is Windows 10. Uh, I'm not quite sure about Windows 8. Windows 7, it is a lot easier to do due to the fact that Windows 7 actually supports this and it is um, not supported by Windows 10 of course why would it they just want you to spend more money on their products now basically the first thing you need to do is buy a wireless adapter for your 360 remote you can get it for 10 bucks on Amazon um, that's where I got mine it's just an off brand it says Xbox 360 on it it's probably made in China yeah it's made in China just look at the bottom of it really cheap but it works alright so the first time you plug it in you're most likely gonna have a disc that comes with the adapter you can basically throw that disc away if you have Windows 10 it does not help you at all um, it's gonna give you an error message saying that this Windows does not support Xbox accessories or a message of that kind now the easiest way to do it is I'll, I'll close this just so I can show you how I got there go to ask me anything this is basically the search bar what I use it for basically so you go drivers that's all you gotta type now update device drivers now you can press enter and it'll bring you here now you see this list now you'll see all everything you can do you can update all your drivers you just go boop 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 I wanna update this I wanna update that yeah I wanna update that yeah sure sure anyway so back to what we were talking about alright you see this other devices with an unknown device now right click now update driver software you cannot do the search automatically for updated driver yeah oh my gosh now you have to actually have to do work and try to get things to actually function anyway so you go to browse my computer now you go to let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer click scroll all the way to the bottom see Xbox 360 peripherals next scroll all the way down and you see Windows receiver for Windows version 10.0. blah 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 blah. You just look for the newest one. So in my case, it is 7/15/2016 is when the last driver came out for this. Click it. Next. Yes, I know that you don't. Yeah, blah blah blah. Whatever. So there you go. Now it is connected, and it will function just as it would on Windows 7. It is perfectly functional. All you have to do is open your game and play. Um, it's pretty simple once you got that it works on just about every game there is maybe one or two games that I have that it doesn't register which is weird it might just be the game but for everything else it'll register and from battlefield to uh, dirt 3 to American truck simulator to you name it it works basically so I hope this wasn't helpful for you please help me like comment and subscribe uh, please comment if you have any suggestions on what I should do and hope you have a great day.